Hi Paper Crafters! Welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today I want to share a super quick project for you. It's this tiny little box. Well, it's not actually that tiny. It's a good size box made out of a 6x6 piece of designer paper where there's no stamping on it, and I thought this was just perfect for the men in your life. So we are going to make this with the envelope punch board and it can fit. I'll take my tissue paper out. I think you can probably put some chocolate in there. It'll fit a gift card perfectly or a bunch of gift cards, maybe some lottery tickets. So it's really quite cute and I'm going to show you how quick it is to put together. We're going to start with our envelope punch board and if you haven't used a punch board before, these are great and uh, they have the inch measurements across the top which I'm going to use today but if you're a metric user, they also have the metric measurements so it is great anybody in the world can use this one. So down here you have a whole bunch of different envelope sizes that you could make to fit different cards. We're not using it that way today. We're going to use it and make a little box. So for this one, you're starting with a six by six piece of paper. And this is the uh, designer series paper, which is the farmhouse. And uh, it is great because it's got uh, old olive and cherry cobbler and there's some basic black and vanilla in there. So it's a real rustic and natural kind of paper. So where you're gonna start, so our little burnishing tool is here and it fits in there. Make sure you put it back so you don't lose it. We're gonna do our first measurements at two and a quarter. So find two and a quarter here and line up the left edge. You're going to, along this trough here, you are going to take the burnisher and you're going to just slide it all the way down and then punch it out. Then we're going to put it to three and a quarter. Make sure I'm right. There you go. And we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to turn it 90 degrees and we're going to line up this um, pointy part with these lines and it might be a little easier to see here. So there's the lines I've just made. So I'm going to line this up with that and I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to line it up. I'm going to line it up with the second one. Now it's not at three quarter and two and a quarter this time. So you do just need to line it up to these and you go all the way around doing the exact same thing. And now we're going to um, curve our line. So we're going to, there's a corner rounder in here and we're going to take that corner rounder and we're going to punch it again and it's going to make a nice smooth edge. I could leave it on the last one. I left it just straight, but on this one, I want it to be curved. So we're done with the envelope punch board. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, burnish and fold on all of these. And I actually want to fold the other way because I want this plaid to be facing out. So I'm going to fold in to my lines and I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to go in with my paper snips and I'm going to cut on these uh, edges here. So I have score lines here. Can't see it there. I have score lines here right up to here and these I want to be little flaps. So I'm going to go in right up to the first score line and I'm going to stop and I want to miter these edges just a little bit. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to just make a little slice, almost like a little mini triangle and pull that out. So that's what I have left is um, just a little mitered edge. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So now that we have them uh, cut, we're going to put this together. So I'll put it together here for you and then show you where we're going to put the tape. So this is how it's going to sit when it's done. And so what I need to do is put tear and tape here and here. So I'll pull that in. So I'm going to put it on this side here. I love that this stuff rips. Okay, and then I'm going to put it on this inside flap here. I want that to stick really well as well. So you can pull that off. If you find that you need a little bit of help pulling it off, just take your uh, paper piercing tool. Oh, that doesn't look like it's helping at all, does it? Sometimes if you have sharp nails, it works really well. Okay, so I'm going to pull it. Actually, I'll do it this way. It's probably easier for you to see. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this flap in and I'm going to make my edges straight. Let me just do that again. 
make my edges straight. So I've lined it up here so it goes into a nice square corner. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so that's tight. And now I'm going to fold in each side here and I'm going to line this edge up here with that edge. And then I'm just going to place it down and do the same thing here. Line this bottom edge up with that edge. Make it straight. There we go. And that's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these guys down. And the reason why I'm going to fold them down and I'm going to adhere them is it might just give a little bit more st uh, stability to the bag. So I could have put, I should have put my tear and tape on there first probably. Put that in there. That in there. I'll pull that off. If you happen to have any uh, tape that is just sticking up, and you might be able to see it there, all I do is take my finger and pull it back. Okay, so I'm going to fold that underneath. Now you don't have to leave those tabs there. You could cut them off right at that score line if you wanted. And I'm going to, what I like about this box is that it has a little bit of a higher back. So now I'm just going to go in with my tear and tape again. You could use snail on this one if you want because there's not going to be any uh, load bearing on this particular spot. But seeing I have my tear and tape right there. Okay, and then just fold that back on itself. And then you've got a box where you can see your contrasting colors. So now we're just going to decorate it. These are the Festa Farmhouse Elements and they're in the holiday catalog and they are little pieces of wood. You can sort of see how thick they are here. And on the front is a grey granite finish and on the back is natural colour. And I'm going to use the Joy this time and you can just sort of pop it out, either go forward or back. I'm going to use the Joy, I used the Mary on the other one. And pull that out and if you need to pull in your paper piercer to get that dot out there we go and I'm also going to take a tree we're going to use a tree and I think maybe we'll use a couple stars on this one and I've pulled in this is the largest of the stitched shapes in the circle this is a cherry cobbler and this is the second largest of the scalloped circles and then I'm going to do a two inch punch of Old Olive. And this is just a scrap I still had sitting around. So that's what you want to try and use up if you can. I'm going to punch that out. And I'm going to put these down using my snail. And I'm going to glue down my joy. So what I do is I use my liquid glue. Turn my joy over and I put just some dots right on top of the wood. And the liquid glue is strong enough to hold this in place. I don't plaster it with glue uh, because I'm going to try not to get it to come out the once I put it down I don't want it to squish out the edges. So I'm going to put this in here a little bit on an angle and it doesn't really matter if I decide I don't like the angle because I haven't attached it at any point yet. I'm going to put a dot on the card itself for the um, dot and here I'm going to use the take a pick tool. So this is new in the uh, catalog and it has putty on this end. And so I'm going to pick that up and it should stick there, which it did. And I'm going to put it down with my fingers, but I found it easier to pick up that way than to try and pick it up with my fingers. So you can see how I have glue gushing out on that one. I am going to leave the, that there and let it dry. I'm going to put my tree down below, maybe one star here and maybe another star over there. So again, I'm going to pick up the tree with the take a pick tool just so that I can get a good handle on it. I'm going to put my tree down, pick up one of my stars and put that down as well and pick up the other star. So it's, be it's nice when they're, the gray was sitting up because then I don't have to lift it with my fingers. Here we go. So I'm going to let that dry for just a minute while we're doing the rest. You want to put your cap back on your take a pick tool so that that um, putty doesn't dry out. You don't want to twist it on. If you twist it on you're going to have the putty um, come out the tip more and you'll just you end up using it. So get it on as snugly as you can just by pushing it on. And now I'm going to just tie some ribbons, uh, rather some baker's twine around there. Give myself a good amount. And I want it to come off to the side. Oh, I gave myself a really good amount. So we are going to do it twice. So tie that around. Tie a bow on this side. So it's just like tying your shoes. 
Let's see if we can get one that works not too badly over here. And I need it to go quite far to the right because my circle is quite large. I'm going to tie a knot in this to make it as tight as possible. Good, and it is tight. And then just my regular loop. Now I'm going to put glue on the bottom part here so that it's going to glue right over top. And I'm going to use liquid glue for this because I think it's going to hold it a little bit better. So I'm going to put it here. And I could put glue here as well so that I've got it in both places. I can glue that down. There we go. And there's your little box. So I'm just going to pull in the first design I made and you can see the difference. So this one's got a different plaid. It's a bit puffy here with that tissue paper in there. And there's the other one. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you do, please consider liking it below and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I post regularly and I have lots of great ideas you might enjoy. Also, consider joining my Facebook group. It's called Design with Joe VI Peeps. There I have weekly features, product of the week, a steal of the deal, a Friday flash tip for you, and my Facebook lives as well. So join in the community. We're having some fun. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you have a great paper crafting day.